irrational voice in your mind censoring you? If it is, it's going to lead to emotional problems. It's going to lead to you repressing feelings and not fully bringing up feelings, feeling them, processing them and releasing them and letting them go. What I'm talking about here is a defense mechanism when maybe we receive some disappointing news or we're upset about something or angry about something whatever the the negative emotion is and we might notice uh, the reason i'm talking about this is a few people I've, I've worked with they have this thing where well no i don't really have negative beliefs or i don't really have negative thoughts that much and what's actually happening is they have the the trigger will come the emotion is there and immediately as soon as it comes in, a rational part of their mind comes in and corrects, corrects it. Okay, no, that's silly. There's no need to be upset about that. I shouldn't be reacting to this. These types of thoughts. And they sound very rational. They sound helpful almost. But we'll begin to realize that it's not working. This is not how you process emotions. This immediate instantaneous correction of negative reactions or triggers okay it's never an impulsive correction if you're if you're impulsively correcting yourself you'll know you're on the wrong track okay because what processing emotions is really all about is a much slower process it's a much more deliberate process it's a much more meditative process in which everything becomes slowed down it's not quick impulse is a reaction to a trigger that's impulsive for sure but the, the, the correction to that is never impulsive so where this comes from really is childhood where you get upset when you're a child and everyone immediately starts to try and as soon as possible calm the child down okay and we get this internal voice in our head that is trying to always calm down the negative emotion really quickly before it's fully felt and processed and released and it sounds rational okay so you'll notice this voice in your head there's no you shouldn't be reacting to that okay um, you're overreacting um, there's no need to be upset about this okay and you know ultimately yeah maybe that's true but when it comes in like that before you've actually had a chance to feel and react fully to it it's actually just telling the emotion go away right and all that's going to do is going to bottle things up. It's going to repress. And then you're going to have to suppress those feelings when they start to come back up later on anyway. And you're going to start to feel all sorts of restriction in your body emotionally. You may even start to dissociate from your body eventually over time where you just numb out the feelings. So we really have to start becoming mindful of, uh, am I correcting myself impulsively to these, to these emotions, these reactions I'm having? Because reactions are normal. We get triggered all the time. There's never anything wrong with getting triggered. It's only how skillful we are and how deliberate we are in learning how to process them properly. Okay, which is again a slow process. It's everything is slowed down in time when we're doing that. So I guess this video is just a, a little tip to be mindful of. Am I immediately correct, correcting myself when I have an emotional reaction? Am I, is the, the rational mind clicking in and overriding my ability to have an emotional reaction to something? And if that's the case, it's understandable because sometimes we not, we're not exactly sure what to do with the emotion if it does come up and is there fully. But there are loads of tools you can use for that, right? And when you start to use the tools for learning how to actually process a feeling when it comes up, you'll, you'll, you, you won't need to r rely on that defense mechanism of intellectualizing the issue or the problem or self-correcting impulsively like that so bear that in mind and it's an invitation here again to start really learning tools right learning emotional processing tools and to um, equip yourself with a sort of a more a more uh, effective toolkit in how to handle them properly because that's not going to work the intellectualization and the correcting is not going to work over time there are alternatives and much healthier ones. Hope that was helpful, folks, and um, take care of yourself. Talk to you again.